Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season we're talking about obedience, and we've discussed the ways that we can fail in obedience, how we need to obey when it's right to do so, and how we may need to disobey when the person giving the orders is being disobedient to a higher authority in doing so. This time, what if a disobedient person in authority over you tells you to do something? Is there any good reason to obey? There is only one good reason, but it may take a moment to explain it. Suppose you were a construction worker, working for the local governor, and he was a secular and worldly person, eagerly and gleefully passing civil laws that went against the teachings of the church. Then he comes to you and tells you that you have to pave a road this week. Should you obey that order? Yes. The reason is that even though the governor might be disobedient, the command to pave a road is not part of his disobedience. That's a good order in conformity with all higher authorities, so there's no good reason to disobey, and because of his own authority, that means it's good to obey that order. This also serves to address an objection that I heard not too long ago about the Henry VIII case we've been discussing recently. It went something like this. Bishop John Fisher of England was sainted, and he gave up his life in opposition to King Henry VIII on the side of the Pope, who was more sinful and corrupt than most popes. If he could be made a saint because of this, it must have been right for him to do so. Therefore, we can justify obeying a disobedient authority. The problem with this example is that St. John Fisher's obedience to the Pope was not a matter of going along with a disobedient or unholy order. Therefore, he would fall under the Governor Road example above. Regardless of how unholy a man the Pope himself may have been at the time, defending the truth about Catholic teaching that the Pope, not King Henry, is head of the Church, is still a good thing to do, which goes along with the will of God, so it's not an act of disobedience by the Pope or anyone else involved in it. Next time, does obedience require us to support the good name of an authority figure? That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.